Call Senator Cameron. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Well, what we have in those that sit on the other side of this chamber is a government that is uncaring, a government that wants to hit the lowest paid in this country, a government that's had a plan to introduce a GST of 15 per cent on the low paid in this country. They've had that plan since they've come to government and they are doing it in, in, in the, at the behest of big business. You cannot trust this government. You cannot trust this government. Go back and look at the last election when this government promised so much to the Australian people, where it said it would not do certain things, but as soon as it came to government, it set about ripping at the pension, ripping at social welfare, trying to take the rights away from working people in this country. They took $80 billion out of education and health. They had the rhetoric of lifters and leaners. So if you got some support from government, no matter how well deserved, you were a leaner. And you had to make your way as an individual. All the privileged people on the other side of this, uh, this chamber who come from privileged backgrounds, who don't know what it's like to not put, to not put food on the table for your family, who don't Order. understand what it's like Order on to my battle right. to pay your mortgage. And it's quite clear <coughs> why the National Party are so upset about this. Because the National Party are the party that should actually be standing up for poor people. Because poor people, as a percentage of the population, reside more in National Party seats <coughs> than they do in other seats. Yet the National Party said nothing, said absolutely nothing, when that first budget was brought down. They just acquiesced to the ideology of the Liberal Party. They were, in the true saying of what, how they are described here, they were the real doormats of the Liberal Party. The Liberal Party wiped their feet all over them in relation to that first budget. $80 billion taken out of health and education. And why was that $80 billion taken out? because they had a plan that they wanted to force the states to push for a GST. Now, that part of their plan worked, because some state premiers are saying, how do we get any extra money unless we have a GST? Well, the reason that they're arguing for a GST is that this rotten mob over here took $80 billion out of health, out of education, and out of resources for state governments in this country. They wanted to impose $7 on the poorest people in this country every time they went to see a doctor. They didn't tell the public that when they went to the election. They wanted Order to increase right. the PBS. Every time you got a prescription, you were going to pay more. They cut the pension. They cut the rate that the pension would increase, which was an effective cut to the pension in this country. So retirees lost some of their benefits. Pensioners on the pension lost some of their pension. People on family tax benefit B lost money when their children turned six. Order. Order. Resume your seat, Senator Cameron, please. Do you have a point of order, order Senator order. Canavan? In fact, Deputy President, on relevance, uh, this is actually a topic picked by the Labor Party, uh, but Senator Cameron can't seem to stick to the topic in seven minutes. It's such a weak notice of motion Senator that he Canavan, can't do that. Senator, Senator Canavan, there is no point of order. Uh, th that's a debating issue. You continue, please, Senator Cameron. Uh, thank you. And I'm not, uh, you know, I can clearly understand why Senator Canavan would want to shut this discussion down, because Senator Canavan purports to represent low-income people. But every action that Senator Canavan has taken in here 
rips away at the living standards of low-income people. And what I'm trying to say here is that this is a government that can't be trusted. So when they stand up and say there is no GST there, well, there is a GST of 15 per cent waiting there. Peter Hatcher in the Herald this morning exposed it. They asked the, the, uh, the uh, Treasury to develop the plans for a 15 per cent GST. The GST is on its way, and the same people that lead this country sat around that cabinet table and inflicted all those problems on the community as a result of that first GST. This government has not changed one iota. The GST is about uh, attacking those that can least afford it. I mean, the, you'll pay an extra $3,200 a year. If, they, if you get an increase of, of 15 per cent on the GST with no change to the base, if it ends up being on, on fresh food, health care, education, water and sewerage, you'll pay an extra $6,200 a year. They will stand up and deny it, but it's clear. This mob over here and their minions out there, the Business Council of Australia, Aki, the business groups, all want a cut all want a cut to company tax. And how do they want to pay it? They want Order. to be paid. Senator, Ca Senator Cameron, address your comments through the chair, not through the gallery, if you would, please. Continue on. Through the chair. And what they want to do, what they want to do is force the poorest people in this country to pay for a cut in business tax. And the theoretical argument is, if you cut business tax, you'll create more jobs. Well, around the world, when you've looked at what's happened when business tax has been cut, what has happened? The chief executive, the executives, the chair people of, of, of the, uh, the board, they get more money and the workers get nothing. No more jobs created. It's an absolute furphy that that's the position. But what will we have here? We'll have everything becoming more expensive. The least well off will be hurt the most. You can't trust them when they say there will be compensation because this is an untrustworthy government. It's the thin end of the wedge for more tax increases from a government that says they're a low taxing uh, government. And it's simply unfair to force a GST onto the workers of this country who are battling to keep their head above water now just to give their big business mates that fund their campaigns Order, more money. Senator.